Welcome to the Order of Sky YouTube channel. I'm Kerry Cahoulin. In May of 2012, I had the honor and privilege to attend two major gatherings. One was the May Day, put on by the Aquarian Tabernacle Church outside of Memphis. And the other was the Heartland Gathering, which happens at Camp Gaia outside of McClough, Kansas. I'd been to both of these areas originally in the early 90s. When I went to the Memphis area, I was brought in by the Unitarian Church because at that time a very small group of people with the ATC were dealing with a great deal of hateful activity by local fundamentalist groups who had been bussed in to interfere with uh, activities that they were involved in. I went there to speak to police in Little Rock and Memphis and it was quite remarkable because uh, at the breakfast before the Memphis Police Academy talk that I did for 60 officers, I had an 18 year old there who told me that uh, he wanted to be a police officer but he was already out about being Wiccan and he wondered what to do. And I told him, you go straight into the recruiting center, you slap the information down on that sergeant's desk, you tell him I'm Wiccan, this is a legal religion, here's the contact information. If you need more information on that, let's talk. And we basically get gave him some more details. I heard from him five years later after Full Contact Magic came out, uh, I think it was, he phoned me and he told me that he'd made sergeant, he was a trainer. And when I went to be picked up for the Memphis event, um, in May of 2012, he was the person waiting for me at the airport. Captain, he was. Very proud of him. And when I got to the event, I discovered it had gone from a handful of people struggling to have be recognized to establish themselves as a legal uh, religious entity to eight fully accredited, established ATC churches, 200 people, three generations, and you couldn't point a finger at a single person and say that they weren't committed to it, and I'm including children in that. It was absolutely remarkable. Same thing with the Heartland. I went there when they first got the property that they now are having their annual gathering on in order to talk to a group of about two dozen local police officers to convince them that these people are mostly normal and uh, mostly safe. And it was funny because there was an officer uh, in that group that kept adding to the answers that I was giving and it became very uh, quickly apparent that he knew far more than one would expect. And after it was over I told him go out, walk around, get to know everybody. Went straight to him and said, how long have you been public? And he went, about 20 minutes. <laughs> And every single time I've been to a, a group of police officers since then, and I've talked to groups of up to 1,400 over the 25 years that I did anti-defamation, not in, in not one single occurrence that, that that happened did I not have someone come up at the end and say, okay, if you can do it, I can do it, I'm pagan. Very definite sign that there's growth. And again, I go to Heartland after being away for 20 years, and same thing, three generations of people, absolutely spotless sight, everyone well behaved, everyone courteous, everything well run, everyone committed. It was utterly amazing. It was really great. And there was a panel that we held there with uh, a, a number of Wiccan leaders and they all basically were saying the same thing. You know, we, we've established now this community. We've established a safe place, a haven for people who are uh, pagan. It's no longer necessary to, to stand up and wave, hey, 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 pay attention to me, I'm, I'm legal, I'm a religion, you need to, to pay attention to what I'm doing. We've got the eye of the public. Now it's a matter of living our path. It's a matter of standing up and showing people through our example what the world could be. The question was asked, where do we go from here? And there was an experience that I had at both of these gatherings that illustrated where I think that we need to go. At both of the gatherings, I had a number of people come up to me who were naturally psychic. They had the sight, but they had no control over it. They had no training. No one had offered any training. 
uh, one had been around the community for a year and it had gotten worse because being attuned to this as he was he was picking up on all of these psychically gifted people around him he had taken all the mirrors out of his house because every time he looked in the mirror it was like going play and these things would happen and he'd seen the deaths of several people who had actually then died really distraught no need for that somebody could have noticed that within a month of him being in the community and helped him with that and I fortunately had the opportunity to do so and I had other examples similar sort of things happening with people at Heartland and at both gatherings with people who were autistic Asperger's syndrome people who had ADHD people who had uh, all kinds of issues of that sort and were trying to fit in we're trying to figure out how does this work and it wasn't that people weren't loving or trying to accept them or giving them any kind of problems over the way that they were no, that wasn't the case it was that because of the way our community grew where we came from well let's do the 101 let's show you the sabbaths let's show you the the deities we work with let's show you the wheel of the year and, you know all the procedures for doing circles and stuff all of that stuff about the sensitivity, about the energy, about the psychic stuff sort of got pushed to the back and it was sort of assumed you'd pick that up as you went along. And that's why in the Order of Sky I've turned that completely around. We start with an inward journey to find out who you are, what your power is, how to use that, how to make that work. Because we all have power no matter what condition we may be labeled with. We show you how to use energy, we show you how to use the psychic stuff. and when you get that sensitivity when you work on that even and you never let that go even as a master you're constantly working with it when someone comes in the door and you see that they have an issue like that you can pick up on it right away and you can help them and that's where our community needs to go we need to be more sensitive to the needs of the people in our community we built it now we have to develop it now we have to help our own people grow and be powerful and be glorious and that's what our order is all about being glorious so, this is a perfect example of uh, industriousness, which is the principle of chivalry, which is related to the month of June, which is when I'm recording this. And it's also probably a very good example of the precept that's related to it, which is minimal appearance, maximum content. You know, take all of the superfluous stuff, put it aside, and get down to the real nitty gritty, the focus on the details, the basic stuff because that's what's going to give you the, the basis for your power to move on. So, thanks for listening. I'm Kerr Cahoolan. Go out there and be glorious.